them, but, but tomatoes are doing a little better this year. Last year, I mean, they just about just about withered out. I don't know. I got one over here that looks about like the others did, but see if I can find it. Unless it got better, it might have. It might have got better. I think that was it right there, or maybe not. But anyway, I wound up getting some blossom end rot on some of these, and so I looked on the internet, and they implied that it was. Uh, and it was a lack of uh, calcium. Hang on a minute. I think I've seen one of these pasticating tomato worms right here. Yes, I do. That's the first one. I, he's not a very big one, but I'm pretty sure he'd like to munch and crunch on my tomatoes. I don't really want him to. I wonder if these chickens will eat that, that worm. We'll go here and see. They'll probably be afraid of it. I don't know. Here, let's see what you all do. Here. No, I don't guess they're afraid of it. Probably won't eat it, but... Yeah, there she goes. They're going to eat that. Anyway, as I was saying, we had quite a bit of rain this year, but not as much as last year. And as you can see, I'm wobbling around all over the place, but just ignore that. Um, I've been in here, uh, tracking around in here and staking up some of the tomatoes and putting some of that uh, calcium solution all over the place in here, which may not be a good idea. Uh, I've seen this on the internet. They, you take this grilled stuff and then you stir it all up and it's a real mess. And I'll get my cup here and go pour that around. But anyway, then uh, then you wind up with uh, muddy feet. So I, and I'm sure this is not a new idea, but I'll show you what, what I did to uh, to uh, keep my feet from getting soft and muddy. And then, the wife not throwing a fit, so I'll be back in a minute as soon as I get started on this other deal here. What I did was I went and got some of these uh, Walmart bags, and uh, like I said, it's probably not a new thing, but you can uh, take and put your shoes in there, and then these uh, little deals on here they got to put your carry it with. Put that around here. You can get it started out right, which of course, it will work, believe it or not, if you get it in here the correct way. But there's one thing I should have uh, said, and I still can, I guess, is put this thing over, at least on the front, or on your other outside, not inside, because if you put them in here, the ties, then you wind up... Um, Stepping on it, and uh, and then you wind up getting uh, all tangled up and pull your sack off and all that. Uh, but anyway, that's is a not real complicated deal, but it keeps the mud off your shoes, and you don't have to wear them big old heavy, cloggy boots or anything when you're. And it don't look too cute, I don't guess. I don't know if you can even see them or not, but. Uh, there was a guy here a while ago, and he said, well, why didn't I don't think you had them on for us? And I didn't think your wife let you in the house. Well, really, that's partly it, because uh, she don't like getting the house messed up, and I understand that. But uh, anyway, that's the gist of that thing. It's a little something I'm sure everybody else has already, uh, they're already knew about that. But in the event they didn't, that's a quick and easy, cheap fix for your muddy shoes you got to get out in the garden. All right, that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.